Yeah, so it would probably be easier just to... Ah, oh, here we go. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another meal prep video. In today's video, it's gonna be probably one of the quickest meal preps I've done. It's Memorial Day weekend. My daughter is in town for a couple days. My son and daughter-in-law and grandson are probably coming over as well as my mother. So I wanna make things very quick this week. So for breakfast prep, I'm planning on doing birthday cake, pancake bake, and then for lunch prep, I'm literally just gonna be taking some frozen chicken breast nuggets and some frozen vegetables, putting them in a meal prep container, and that is all I'm gonna be doing with that. I just have one dinner kit to throw together this week because some of the dinners I'm making throughout the week are ones that I'm working on for a future video, so I kinda don't wanna show you that. And for snacks, nothing to cut up or prep for snacks this week. I'm just doing things that don't require any prepping. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I am currently following the WW Blue program, but I do provide the points for all three programs on my channel, and I also share calories as well. And I'd love it for you to be part of our family by clicking that subscribe button. So let's get started with this quick meal prep. All right, breakfast prep this week. Like I said, this week I'm making birthday cake, pancake bake. So what I'm gonna be doing is using my regular blueberry pancake bake recipe and just making a couple modifications. So instead of the vanilla extract, I'm gonna be using some cake batter extract. And instead of the blueberries, I'm going to use some strawberry sprinkles. Ingredients we need for this, very simple. We need two cups of buttermilk Kodiak cakes. And if you're new to my channel, you'll notice the two cup mark is way up here. That's because I actually weigh things like this. So anything that's flour-like consistency, I weigh it out because I find that when you weigh it, that is actually the accurate serving than if you just dump it in there, as you can tell. So it's because it's it's powdery and it kind of settles down. So that is actually the two cups worth. I just, it's 53 grams for a half a cup. So I put in 212 grams for the two cups. So we need that. Like I said, I'm gonna use the cake batter extract. If you can't find this at your local store, I'll link it down below. Amazon does usually have it. Sometimes they are out. So I'll put a link down there. I'll put links down below for any of the items that I use, like my scale and different things you see me using. And also any recipes I do will be listed down below as well. So the cake batter extract. Now for the vanilla extract that I use in my blueberry pancake bake, I do one teaspoon. I'm probably gonna use a little bit more of this just because I really kind of want it to have have that cake flavor. I'm gonna do about three tablespoons of sprinkles. I don't quite have three tablespoons in here. I did already measure it out. So I have these little ones that I'm just gonna kind of add to the top. So what I wanna do is put like half of this in the pancake bake and then half of it I'll sprinkle on top. We also need one egg. Over here I have one and a half cups of unsweetened almond milk. You can use the vanilla flavor. I've used that before, it comes out just as good. A teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And then this disgusting looking bag here is actually frozen bananas. So usually what I do when my bananas start getting overripe, I just peel them, I throw them in a bag and I put them in my freezer. So this is two overripe bananas. If you don't like bananas, you can use unsweetened applesauce. I would say about a half a cup of unsweetened applesauce. And then if you want it a little bit sweeter, you can use some additional sweetener. I have here the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. So I may put just a little bit of this in there. Normally for my pancake bakes, I don't use any other sweetener besides the bananas because to me, I don't like them overly sweet. But because I'm doing this in more of a birthday cake flavor, I do want this one a little bit sweeter. So all we're gonna do is just combine all the ingredients into a bowl. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees and I've taken a 13 by nine inch pan and sprayed it with some cooking spray. So now I'm just gonna add all my ingredients. So I think for the sweetener, I'm just gonna do, just add like a teaspoon. And the cake batter extract, uh, I think I will do two teaspoons. And then just give that a good whisk. I almost forgot about my bananas. Okay, now give that a good whisk. Mm -hmm. 
All right, now just pour it into your prepared pan. Make sure you get all of it out of there. Now one thing about my pancake bakes is they're not overly fluffy. These are just kind of more dense, but I have had people tell me that they add like some baking powder and that does make it a little bit more fluffy. All right, and finally, I'm gonna add the rest of my sprinkles. And then, like I said, I didn't quite have three tablespoons, so I'll just use a little bit of these. Looks like springtime Easter colors. I did an Easter pancake bake. This is what I should have done for it. So that's all there is to it. So now that's going in the oven 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. So I decided that instead of having my blueberries just for a snack this week, I'm going to have them for breakfast. So I'll have the pancake bake and then I'll have the blueberries on the side. So to wash these, I just use my OXO salad spinner. I just take the top off and just use the insert and just dump the blueberries in there. And then I just use about one part vinegar to four parts water. And you cannot taste the vinegar. People always ask if you can taste it. And whether you really need to use this, I don't know. This is just something my grandmother always did, so I've always done it. So then I'm just gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes. All right, after that's been sitting for 10 minutes, now just dump that water and then just rinse them real well. So now I usually lay them out on towels to dry, but I'm just gonna take this because I'm gonna be putting them right in my meal prep container. So I'm just gonna take my little bun paper towel and just kind of go through and dry, dry them off the best I can. And then I can finish them when I go to put them in my meal prep container. Okay, now I'm gonna portion out my syrup. I'm gonna use this Maple Grove Farm sugar-free syrup. For this kind, you can have a quarter of a cup for zero points, so I'm not gonna even bother weighing it or measuring it. I'll just pour it in my containers. I know I won't have more than that. And calories, it's five calories for two tablespoons. I just put them in these little containers that I get from the Dollar Tree. You can get 10 of these for a dollar. Something else I'm gonna be doing is for my blueberries, because I'm gonna put my blueberries in the meal prep container with my pancake bake, I'm gonna end up heating my pancake bake. So I'll take my blueberries out. So what I usually do is just put them in a muffin tin or something you can do is save these. I use these, they're like the jello pudding cups. I usually save these and I can use those for things like putting my blueberries in or just, you know, if I'm having fruit on the side. So that way I can just pull the blueberries out before I heat the pancake bake. So I'm just gonna go through and just fill these almost to the top. Just enough. And now I'm just gonna put some blueberries in these cups and then whatever I have left, I will just have for snacking throughout the week. So now I'll just put these in a dish on the side. We'll have those to snack on throughout the week. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put my blueberries and my syrup in these containers. These containers are not divided. I got these ones from Walmart. All right, that is what it looks like. It looks so good and it smells really good too. So I'm just gonna let that cool for a little bit and then I'm gonna cut it into six portions and get it into our meal prep containers. So that is how big of a portion we get. So usually what I do is cut it into six and then I cut each portion into two. So this ends up being three points on all programs and 240 calories, plus the calories for the syrup and the blueberries. And there we go, that is it for breakfast. Moving on to lunch. I'm telling you, this lunch is gonna be so time consuming and so hard to do. This is all I'm having. <laughs> I'm doing these grilled chicken breast nuggets 
And I also have some, these I got from Sam Club, Broccoli Normandy and some Broccoli Florette. So I'm just gonna split these up amongst the six trays and split up the chicken breast and that is gonna be our lunch. So you can use whatever you want. Uh, if you have like canned green beans, whatever vegetables you want, I'm just gonna use up these. And then for the chicken breast, I actually opened this one. So these have 18 ounces in each bag. So because I'm on blue, my chicken breast is zero points. So if you're on blue or purple, this entire lunch is actually gonna be zero points. If you're on green, you can have three ounces of these for two points or five ounces for three points. And if you're counting calories, these are 110 calories for three ounces. And then of course the vegetables are zero on all programs. And I don't even know what the calories are. Very minimal for the calories. And then I'm gonna have this raised no sugar added barbecue sauce. So this will also be zero points. If you're counting calories, this is 15 calories for two tablespoons. So I'm just gonna have some of that on the side with it. So that's it. So if you're new to meal prepping, this is a perfect way to get started. So I'm just gonna go through, I'm gonna put my chicken in the small side and then I'll put my vegetables in the other side probably. I'm just gonna portion out some of my barbecue sauce. All right, so then I've got my barbecue sauce. Now I'm just gonna cover that and I'll just put it in the side with the vegetables. So that's it for lunch prep this week. So like I always say, your meal preps do not have to be anything long and drawn out. You don't have to be cooking and slaving all day. This is a simple meal prep that literally takes five minutes to throw together, but you've got your lunches for the week. So now these will just heat in the microwave. I'll obviously take the barbecue sauce out, but these will heat up for probably, they'll probably take about two minutes. And then for the vegetables, I'll just spray them with some spray butter. All right, moving on to dinner kits. I just have one dinner kit to do this week because three of the nights, I can't let you know what we're having because it's recipes that I'm working on for future videos. So I'm just gonna do one dinner kit. So if you're new to my channel, this is what I do. I make my own DIY dinner kits. I use these disposable bags and I have a dry erase marker that I just write what I'm having. I write the points and calories. Now, obviously, if I wasn't didn't have my channel, I would only write how many points it is for me on blue, but I provide everything, so that's why it's all written out. This washes off real well in hot water. These bags cannot go in the dishwasher, so I just use soap and water and it scrubs right off. And then what I do is I put all my produce in here. I don't wash everything. Basically, what I'm doing is portioning it out so that that way when I go to cook it, it's already portioned, it's ready to go. I cook it and I know how much is in there. So this is just enough for two for my husband and I, so there are no leftovers and I already know the points that it's gonna be. So for this one, super easy. I have in here 12 ounces of potatoes. I just put those in there and I also have about 12 ounces of carrots as well. And then I have my topping for the pork. So in here I have one tablespoon of stone ground mustard, half a tablespoon of olive oil, just a little bit of chives and one garlic clove that I've grated up. So just mix that up. So then that way that's all ready to go. The night I get home, I just pull the kit out everything's good to go. All right, so then I'm just gonna put the top on that. These containers I can't link you to because these are ones that I got years ago when I used to get delivery kits. So I can't link you to those. So that is gonna go in there. And then the last thing I have is my pork tenderloin. This is 10 ounces of pork tenderloin that I have portioned out already, weighed it out and vacuum sealed it. I usually buy these in a great big package from Sam's Club. And then when I get home, I weigh them out, portion them and vacuum seal them. And then I have my them in my freezer like that, ready to go. So this is frozen. I took it out of the freezer, so it will thaw out in my fridge. The only other thing I usually do is I have, uh, this calls for a half a cup of Heinz pork gravy. So no Normally I will measure that out and put that in the bag, but I actually don't have any gravy, so I'm gonna have to pick that up on the way home from work one day. So that's all I do for my dinner kits. And like I said, no snacks to prep this week. I'm not gonna be doing my pretzels this week. I'm just gonna have some fruit that there's really nothing to cut up there and pudding. And I think I might have some yogurt that I may snack on throughout the week. 
Okay, so that's what we ended up with, and I checked, and I am completely out of pudding and yogurt, so I'll be stopping at the store probably to pick some of those up tomorrow. So I just have blueberries, apples, I have some rice cakes over there, and then I have the birthday cake pancake bake with the blueberries. I have our super simple lunches with the chicken nuggets and vegetables, and then the dinner kit. So like I always say, you do not need to have two or three hours in a day to meal prep. You can do something very simple like this. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy. Don't you know